Well, you're going to have to excuse me for the quality, but I'm looking at a red moon, blood red moon. Coming down, it's 2 o'clock a.m. in the morning, 4th of July, and the camera really doesn't do it justice. Unfortunately. What I'll do, I'll take a couple of pictures and you can have a look, but uh, why have we got a blood red moon? And a very warm welcome if you just join me on my channel, Nigel's Beyond Things. How are you doing? How are you keeping? Hope everybody's safe and sound where you are. And I must apologise, lack of videos, because I've been extremely, extremely busy. Hope you understand. Getting around to the comments and uh, the emails, so if you haven't received a reply, I will be getting back to you very, very shortly. Also, I must make it clear that YouTube are up to their old games again. Deleting or hiding emails or throwing you into the trash or yet yeah, it is not me I'll only delete emails if you are rude to me or my subscribers end of story everybody's allowed their opinion I don't care that's the way it goes any rate space.com link in the description box down below so it's easy for everybody's find so let's find out together why we are actually getting a red moon and what it means one thing we've got to remember is normally on a red blood moon it only happens very rarely and uh, we'll find that information out in a minute but you can see here it's always on the full moon now finding out information about the rest of it whether it happens on a different phase of the moon is very very hard but any rates the sun is this direction as we can see that is the moon before anybody sends me a comment and as the moon goes round it passes in phases as you well know but what I am noticing is when the moon rises and the moon sets it's rising and setting red and yeah like I say people are going to tell me this is normal but uh, I don't actually remember this you know maybe I wasn't paying attention maybe I wasn't awake but what can I say right there's a couple of things that we need to know that uh, the earth shadow is red at the edges for the same reason at sunset is red the sunlight is scattered by passing through earth's atmosphere the other colors of the spectrum are removed in a solar eclipse the moon casts its shadow on the earth the darkest part of the moon's shadow is the umbra and is no more than 166 miles wide 267 kilometers on the surface of the earth because the orbit of the moon is tilted relative to the orbit of the earth the eclipses can't happen every new and full moon the shadow of the cone passes above or below the moon and the earth and most times only at two points during the year do the sun and the earth and the moon line up properly to allow for eclipses that is the most important thing to remember so it's quite a rare event so some more photos I've taken but we're continuing with this red theme and you can see it clearly round the outside of the moon with the chemtrails thanks for the soup it's 10 minutes to 12 which will then make it the fifth let's have a look at this next picture the moon is now starting to set and as it comes down it gets redder and redder and the camera really doesn't do it justice it's eight minutes past two let's click to the next picture and as you see the moon is now slowly setting and it gets redder and redder and like I say the camera does not do this justice in any way shape or form and don't forget if it was a full moon it would be a red moon they're telling us this is a very very rare event so either there's something in the skies that's making this happen oh fancy that or yeah well you make your own minds up it's for you to decide and on the next picture you can see that it just gets rid and rid of. and that's where my camera malfunctions but this theme actually now carries on during the day and this is what I think is most important this is what everybody's got to understand there's an old wives tale and I must tell you what this wives tale is my nan told me red sky at night shepherd's delight green sky in the morning nuclear warning sorry that's the new one they're using the old one is red sky at night shepherd's delight red sky in the morning 
shepherd's warning. Now there's many other different tales that have been told but it's not a regular occurrence. It happens every now and then. Not every single day and every single night. This is what people need to remember. Very, very, very important. And as you can see, these are just different pictures that I've taken and they're extremely, extremely red. As we zoom in here, you can see the redness coming through the clouds. And this picture here, well, what can I say about that? That, to me, looks like our real sun setting and no sun simulator. And there's another picture of it rising and another picture of it rising and another picture of it rising. And this one is of its setting. And as you can see, they all have that common theme, redness. Now, this was taken last year. August the 16th I do believe and the sky was absolutely red yet again the camera on the phone did, does not do this justice what are we looking at what is actually causing this and there's more to this you can actually see just here that the security camera should be red yeah it's exactly the same color as what this sky is so that shows you that the camera on the phone isn't good enough to pick the red up. This I need to show you because it's very very important. I urge you to go over and subscribe. Links in the description box down below. Excellent work. Let's watch a video and you'll understand what I'm saying. And I think you can totally, totally agree that this should not be caught on camera. I'm just showing you stuff that I think is totally, totally wrong. It's for you to make your own minds up. You know, also, it's it's not just in the skies. It's our rivers, as you can see here. Why is the, our rivers going red? You know, it's very, very strange. There's something not right. It's even been talked about in the Bible. Who am I to say? Who am I to know? Much love, much peace. I'll catch you next time. Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain. But you feel it. You felt it your entire life. That there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is. But it's there. Like a splinter in your mind driving you mad. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you want to know what it is? Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more.